Let's try to draw a cute bald eagle. Yeah, we hope you're gonna follow along with us. It's gonna be a lot of fun. You need your drawing supplies. We're using markers, but you can use whatever you have. You also need some- Paper and something to color with. Yeah, you're ready to start. Yeah. <laughs> First, let's draw our eagle's beak. We're gonna draw in the middle of our paper and we're gonna draw the letter V. I'm gonna come down and then we're gonna come back up. Yes, then we're gonna draw the top of the beak. We're gonna draw an upside down U. Kinda looks like an ice cream cone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then we can also draw a little nostril on each side. Yeah. And then let's draw the eyes. I'm gonna draw one eye this size on the left and the same size on the right. Yeah, there you go. Then let's draw the small little circle in the top left. This is to make the eyes look shiny. This is the highlight. So we're gonna leave this white and then we'll color in the big circle. That part we sped up, so remember you can pause the video if you need extra time. Okay, now let's draw the hair, well, the feathers on top of our bird's head. We're gonna start here and let's draw a upside down U shape or an, a rainbow line for the top of our bald eagle. Looks like my head. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, maybe we should put a uh, hat on our eagle. Yeah, you start there and then we're gonna go up over like you're drawing the top of my head. <laughs> there you go, except my head's not that flat on top. It looks it's like more a square. Like, yeah, it's more like this one. <laughs> okay, now let's draw the feathers. We're gonna draw a little zigzag line coming down on the left, and we could draw a little zigzag line coming down on the right side too. Then let's also draw zigzag lines going underneath, and some of these are gonna be big, and I'm gonna make other ones smaller and we can mix up the size and change the very that way it looks like natural feathers next we're going to draw our eagle's body let's start here and we're going to draw oh we can actually draw coming in also for the wings so we're going to draw the body is here but we're going to draw the wings on the outside but we're going to overlap the wings coming in so i'm going to draw the curves coming in yeah the same on both sides. And then right here, let's draw little lines that come in closer to the center. And then we're gonna draw zigzag lines to connect in between these two lines. So I'm gonna mix up the size and direction of these zigzags. This is for the bottom of our eagle's body. Then we can also draw the little talons. Let's draw two lines for one leg and then two lines the same distance apart for the other leg on the other side. Yeah, and then let's draw the toes. We're gonna start here, and we're gonna draw a curve that comes out, and right at the end, a curve down. Then we can draw a little talon sticking out. We're gonna draw a sideways V. Then let's connect the bottom up to the top, so it's with a curve, yeah. And then we can draw the bottom of the talon coming in a little further. Let's give it our eagle another toe. I'm gonna draw another curve that comes more diagonal down, but right at the end, we'll match the same that we did here, and then do the same thing for another talon, and then connect it to the top. Then let's draw the rest of the toe coming up, and then we're gonna draw the back toe sticking in, or to the right. Yeah, and then right here, let's draw a little curve for the toe, and then we're gonna draw the talon sticking out. And then let's do the same thing. We'll repeat the same step for all the talons. We'll draw a curve going up to the top. And then let's draw the top of the toe coming into the leg. <laughs> there we go. Now we got our one foot. Let's repeat all those same steps for the other foot, but we're gonna point it the other direction. So we'll draw the first toe coming out just like we did here. And we can go a little faster since we're just repeating the same steps. I'm gonna draw the toenail connected up to the top. Then we'll draw the bottom of the toe coming in. Then let's draw this toe aimed more down, like diagonal. And then we're gonna draw a little talon sticking out of the toe. Let's connect it to the top too. And then we're gonna draw the bottom of the toe coming up 
and then the back toe sticking in or pointing to the left. <laughs> then let's draw the little toenail for the back toe. Sideways V, and then we'll connect it up to the top also. And then we can finish the top of the toe coming into the leg. <laughs> we did it! I love those yes. toes. Those are so cute. And I love that our two drawings don't look exactly the same. They're both turning out awesome. And it's okay if your drawings look different too, because the most important thing is... To have fun. Yeah, and to... Practice. Practice. <laughs> Remember to have fun and practice. Okay, let's keep going. Okay. Our eagles are missing their wings. Let's draw those next. We're going to draw a little curve up here. We're going to start maybe here for the shoulder, and then we're going to come down. And let's do the same. Oh, but eagle looks really tough now. The shoulders are sticking out far. <laughs> yes. And then let's draw some, let's draw some feathers. I'm going to draw little U shapes that come forward and connect. And we're going to do the same U shapes that come forward and connect to the front of the wing. Then we can draw the big flight feathers. So I'm going to draw one right here and then we're going to connect up and we'll do the same thing. Let's just repeat the same size feather on the other side. Then let's draw even more flight feathers. I'm going to draw another long wing and we could even do a couple more just to finish the wing off. And then let's do the same thing over here. We did it! We finished drawing our cute eagles. They're not completely done yet. We still need to color them. Yes, my favorite part. We're going to fast forward so at the end, remember you can pause the video again to match your same coloring. Or you could color your drawings any way you want. You ready to fast forward? Yeah! we did it! We finished drawing and coloring our cute eagles. Yours is my favorite. It's always my favorite. It looks super cute. Thank you. You can pause the video right now to match your same coloring. You could also even add a background. Maybe your eagle is up on top of a mountain or on a tree with a big nest. Or there's a whole family of eagles. Oh, that would be really cool. You could even draw the sky and maybe even some of them are flying. If you have the same Art for Kids hub markers that we used, the colors that we picked out we're 92, that's the dark brown for the body. Then we also used 33 yellow, and I also used 24 orange for shading. And then what was the gray we used for the head? CG1. Yeah, that's a light gray. And then for the talons, we used a darker gray. CG7. Yeah. And we also used a white colored pencil to add another highlight to the eyes, and also a blue colored pencil for the bottom highlight. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing a bald eagle. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! Bye.